And we should start off with the jar of names, because we always do. It's a trend. It continues out throughout the episodes. What do you expect? It's always going to be the jar of names. But this video is for everyone, including, but not excluded to, Toby Clinic the Insane. Okay, so another creating video. It's madness. We had one last week. We get another one this week. Uh, it's just another way to beat boredom. That's all it is. But today we're going to be trying to make some homemade paper. Yes, uh, the paper which you make looks messy. I will say that it does not look flat like you would have normally find paper in like a shop or something. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's it's nice to try. This is my first try. So if it doesn't work, you know, like the ink last week, we'll see how it works. But let's start off with what you're going to need. Some old paper, some mesh, a bowl, a cloth, water and a spoon. Step one, tear the paper into very small pieces. Uh, you, yep, you just rip it up. It's it's not too hard to do. You just rip it up, put it in a bowl, and uh, save that for later. And what I did is I used uh, two A4 sheets of newspaper, and I also used uh, one, uh, was it two? It might have been two A4 sheets of white paper, because I wanted it to be white so I can write on it as well, but we'll see what happens at the end about that. Uh, yeah, so I basically used four A4 pieces of paper to make a very small piece of paper, as we will see, but uh, you need a lot of paper. Step two, mix the water with the paper and stir together. Uh, what you're supposed to do uh, is, I haven't got a blender, so I, you're supposed to use a blender, but I haven't got a blender, so I, just make, I had to improvise. But you're supposed to use it in a blender to sort of make a pulp, uh, so that it will be like, right, uh, so the paper's really thin, well not th thin, small, sorry. Uh, but obviously I haven't got a blender, so I had to sort of just make sure I cut it up quite small, and I thought maybe it doesn't really matter. It slightly matters, but uh, a blender would help and make it look a lot better, as we'll find out, but, if you have a blender, put it in a blender, but obviously I haven't got one, so I had to just... You can do it without, but a blender helps. Step three, spread the pulp out flat onto the mesh. Uh, when I say mesh, I mean like like a bar like, well, barbed wire, uh, like a chicken wire. You know, where it's like where it keep, keeps chickens in, like the fencing. Uh, what else is there to do? Uh, you know, basically it's just like, like you can see here. I, I use an ironing board because it had the same sort of design. It's, it works like this. Uh, it should really be smaller holes, but it works like this as well. A bit like a wire rack, I suppose, but but smaller holes is what I'm getting at here. Is it barbed wire? It's not barbed wire, that's dangerous stuff. Uh, well, that sort of stuff though. Uh, but yeah, you just put it on there, make sure it's all flat so it obviously forms like the paper shape. And that's basically what you need to do, just sort of uh, spread it out. If you can get it as flat as possible, it'll be great and uh, try and make it all level. Uh, and if you can, try and get it really thin. Step four, now what you need to do is make sure that the uh, bowl, well, this bowl should have been underneath the, the paper or the pulp at all times, just in case it leaked. Uh, but yeah, now what you need to do is, un with the bowl underneath, you need to dab the top of the paper with a cloth over the bowl, obviously, like I said. Uh, and basically, this will remove the water from the mixture. That's why you need the holes at the bottom, so the water will go through the, the, the holes, uh, but obviously keeping the paper in the same space. Uh, it's basically, this whole process is similar to when you leave paper in your trousers when you wash them, and it's all, all clumps together. It's, it's basically that, just more, uh, more useful instead of finding it in your pocket and being like, oh, what was that piece of paper? This is actually meant to happen. Uh, but yeah, that's what you need to do. Just make sure you get all the mixture out. So it doesn't really matter how much water you mixed it with in the first place. You're going to be getting rid of all the water, so it doesn't really matter how much you mixed it with. Step five, take off of the mesh and dry overnight. Obviously, it was quite hard to take it off without it breaking, so I didn't film that. Uh, but once you take it off, just leave it on the cloth uh, in daylight. I happened to do this on the hottest day of the year, so it worked out pretty well. And there we go. We now have some homemade paper. Uh, it, it, it did work. I, I It did work. Yes, it did work. As you can see here, it's a bit it's a bit, uh, a bit rough around the edges, but uh, hold on a second. I'm just going to cut it around the edges, which I've done here, so it looks more like paper. But yeah, it looks not too bad. Uh, the, the only problems with it I have is the, probably the mesh I used was too thick holes, uh, and I obviously didn't have the blender to make the pulp thin, smaller. Uh, but it did work. It did work. That's what we've got to take away from this. It did work. You just need a smaller, a be better mesh, like chicken wire, and uh, the other thing, which is, was a blender. But it worked. I'm happy with it. I'm content with this result. Better than the ink, anyway. What I was going to do is use this paper for the ink, but I'm glad I didn't, because it wouldn't have worked. Ah, but there we go. Right. So, as always, if you do this yourself, I want to see pictures, I want to hear comments, I want to see anything about ways you've done it, if you've done it differently or whatever. But if you have it, let me know what you've done. But this was one way to beat boredom. I think I've done everything. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Um, the paper is a little bit brittle. Like, uh, I think if you rip it, if you bend it so much, it will break. It's not very flexible. Uh, but then, you know, it's homemade. It's not meant to be flexible. And it looks like it's going to rip in a minute as well in the centre. But, nah, nah, it works. 
Anyway, I'm going to finish my cup of tea. And you can write on the paper, you just need a very thick marker pen. You can't use a pencil, it has to be a thick marker pen. And I will say, until the next time we meet, farewell. <laughs>